Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and we're going to teach you about the prison epistles. The prison epistles of Ephesians, Colossians, Philippians, and Philemon. These are letters written by Paul when he was in prison um, for preaching the gospel. The place of Ephesus, which is the letter to the Ephesians, was a church planted by disciples of Paul. This place was very pagan. It had all kinds of gods. So this letter was specifically written to the Ephesians and their struggle, just like our struggle in American society with all of the voices and the advertisement and all the directions that we can go in life to, what and whom we are to believe in. But we know the ultimate truth. That is, Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah, the only God, the one true God, who we are to put our faith and trust in. The book of Colossians is a letter to the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, let me try, Colossae. Point is, Paul wrote this letter to the Colossians. They had quite some issues there as well. They faced the problem when some false teachers had arrived from Judaism saying that in order for them to become Christians, they had to go undergo Judaism teachings and also be circumcised in their flesh. But Paul, um, he refutes the idea and says you don't need to become a Judaistic in order to be a Christian. It's not a, it's not a process of this and that, um, but only by faith, not by the flesh are we circumcised. But we have been circumcised through the baptism of Jesus Christ. The second part in Colossae, the letter to Colossae and the Colossians was their other false teachers, which is that we are saved by grace, and because we are saved by grace, that's all you need. You don't need to obey the law. You can basically run and do whatever you want. However, Paul gives another rebuke towards that concept and says, yes, you are saved by grace, but if you are truly saved, you will not go back to the ways that you are being uh, kind of excommunicated in their behavior of the world, but you will live as a new human being. The letters Paul wrote to Philippi. This isn't that bad. Uh, through these suffering and these afflictions, I am suffering as Christ suffered, then if I suffer with Christ, I am to be glorified with him as well, whether it's in this present state of life or the one to come. And for those he's writing to, is he's giving his witness to saying, I see this church that is growing in the Lord and it is turning into a marvelous place. Um, keep growing and keep going keep seeking Jesus in your faith that will open up all the blessings of Christ. The letter to Philemon. This man Philemon had a test of faith. Now, his slave had ran away from him, um, whom Paul had met in prison. His name was Monsimus. Um, so upon his release, Paul wrote a letter him to return back to his master and his master to pardon that he was not even a slave anymore, but he was a free man and not only was he free he was to be represented as a brother in Christ as an equal not only as an equal as if Paul Paul's value was in him was in this oneness this slave was returning to the nest. Thank you for watching. That was great. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there was a lot more that went into it, but let's try to keep it within five minutes. And um, I don't know, Berean. <laughs>